Hey everybody, welcome back to the Morpha Project, and today we're actually going to be working on the wood again. So, uh, what I'm going to be doing now is implementing a darker color towards this if it is necessary. If not, then well, we're going to be going uh, that way, right over there. So, um, no further ado, let's get started, shall we? So, um, today I actually did some fixing. I actually went to do some recording. Uh, where did I look? Wait, uh, what? Where did I? <sighs> I am so dumb. I'm really dumb. Excuse me. Allow me to just say that I'm trying to do my very best upon. Oh, there it is. Mm -hmm. I have been working on my <laughs> on my tablet, as you can see, and uh, it was actually quite nice to have. Oh well, been work. Uh, that I have been working on it. Yeah, very, very lot. Uh, so let's see um, what does need to be done. I need to implement a third color in this so that I can then um, get some shading done. Yeah, that or I can add the. Hold on a sec. I need to. Yes, I need to make sure that I have the. Hold on. I need to figure out if I need to add more color to this. Yes, this is too. This is too. Um, not woody, so it is not fully good. Right. So which one is it? Not this one. And the other one, right? Yes. All right. I need to make sure that I add the right amount of detail towards this drawing right here. So let's start here and then work our way up. Nope. Come on, I'm not selecting the wrong layer. Ah, I selected the wrong layer. This is what I need. Yes. Alright. So we have now my pencil. I can now draw on the pencil like this and add the right amount of detail towards the drawing itself, as you can see that. That is what I need to do. So Let's get started. Also, I got the uh, great uh, notification again from uh, from Windows that uh, I need to do my uh, restarting again. So uh, tonight I will be starting my restart so that I don't get interrupted well midstream. That you know, Windows is gonna be disturbing you. Like, hey, uh, did you know that I, you need to restart? I'm like, yes, I did know that, but I'm not gonna be doing that. And now. Well, you know, technically you're forced to do it anyway, so better be over with it, and then you know, make sure that you decline every single thing that that Windows is offering. Like, hey, this is new, maybe you should try. And I'm like, no, thank you. So that's the thing. But yeah, I'm gonna be adding now some more detail towards the wood by um, putting the outlines on it. Well, at least that is the idea. But yeah, um, I have been doing some recording. Uh, I'm working on. Uh, I also uh, made a. I also made a picture. Uh, I still need to edit some parts of it, but uh, once that picture is done, I can then uh, put that picture into the recording itself. Because what I actually am doing right now is uh, well, not now, but what I have been doing today was actually implementing the uh, the picture that I use uh, into a game, which uses their own. Uh, that you can yeah you know you can put pictures of your own creations into the game and then you know use them as enemies or as tokens or whatever and I just wanted to see if I could do that and then you know implement and then create a unique kind of experience for well me and the rest of everybody here so that's the thing that I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be making uh, well I'm gonna be doing some recording and then hopefully you know have a good old fun time because technically it's a very fun game to play because you know you can make your own damn uh, uh, you can make your own damn adventures in it and you can make your own damn uh, abilities and all that stuff and if I can combine that with you know my drawing style I can then try to get uh, pretty much everything that I want I even could do voice recording if I want to just to get more fun out of it which I'm gonna be doing so uh, yeah, 
that's the thing that I'm going to be doing. And uh, hopefully, you know, uh, hopefully that is going to be not taking me too long to produce. But uh, one note is worthy is uh, that I got pretty far today already. I fixed, I drew the drawing and uh, I just need some minor improvements and then it will be good to go for usable. Uh, oh hey, you gotta. <laughs> Oi. Uh, kun je, <laughs> kun je, uh, kan ik een of arcana gebruiken? Yep. Sure. Sure, mate. Sure. Depends on what you what you want to use, but uh, technically you could use it. Most of the stuff is not. Ugh, I don't give a shit. I'm not giving a shit today. I'm not gonna give a shit to no uh, tomorrow. But that means I can put two ghouls! Ah I can put two ghouls in then. So uh the encounter will be two yeah, will be two ghouls instead of one. That's good. Well it's not a surprise encounter, it's actually just an encounter. It says like hey, if you are if you're having an advanced party with a high amount of strength, then you should put more of the enemy inside of a square room. And I'm like Woo. Very spooky. In a square room, you're gonna put more enemies in. Of course, you know, that's that's the fun part about D&D, &D, you know, you can put more stuff into it, or like, mm, do I want to balance it like that, or do I want to balance it like this? But, uh, you know, I'm just gonna put, I'm just gonna be following the rules upon what, what is gonna be put in there. I know exactly what enemies are there. You know, we have Spooky Scary Skeleton 1 and 2. We have Bony Bone Man. We have, uh, Ghouls, we have, uh, apparently we have also a Necromancer, but, uh, so, uh, yeah, we have all the lovely stuff that needs to be done, so, yeah, anyway, I've been working on this bad boy now, and, uh, as you can see, the more I do, uh, no problem, man, no problem, it's easy, right, using, u using, using, using this great, you know, using this blood, um, YouTube, uh, I love it. It is so ha it's so easy, you know, getting communications or whatever you need to do, or you know, you are un you cannot disturb a person, and you're just you know, go to the go to the stream and be like, hey, I needed to ask this just because you know, apparently he wants to join me on a session, so I'm like, yeah, I already suggest that he could could play, and I don't give a shit what you pick or whatever you pick, but I have seen another, I haven't, I have seen an unearth arcana enough that I know what is inside of it, so I'm like, yeah. Some parts are a little bit strong, but meh. Yeah. At level 6 it's doable. It's definitely doable, but at level 11 or 12 it's getting a little bit ridiculous, but meh. Yeah. Who doesn't get ridiculous? I'm like, yeah sure, if you wanna if you wanna do this or that, you know, go your go 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 you. Just don't complain when uh, other people are, you know, Looking at you like, hey, why, why did you kill more people than me? Hmm, hmm, punk. And he's like, nah. That's always a thing that you need to do. You need to always reward the whole party for their doing actions, or well, doing actions. What? The, that's not a real word. <laughs> doing actions. Yes, a lovely word of doing actions. So, uh, yeah. Um, you need to reward a party with most. You need to reward a party with the milestones that you give. Like you know, you you saved the town. Congratulations! Here is some gold and an item. Oh, what a kind of item would it be? Well, you know, depending on the level, you can get a decent amount of stuff. And the more the more scarier the adventure, the more you know, more the more rewarding it is. Of course, you need to build it up so that you know you're you're putting more chaos and more chaos into the into the mix, but you need to put it in in such a way that, you know, if one problem is solved, the other problem is gonna be, you know, not solved. That's the idea, like, you know, you need to put actions and consequences, like, hey, you have two problems, and then, boom, one problem is solved, the other one is gonna get worsened. And then, that problem is gonna be creating a new problem, and that new problem is gonna be create something like, I don't know, a villain. Oh, so yeah, um, that's the idea of how you're supposed to run a D and D campaign, I guess, by you know creating problems and then those problems, those are not solved, are getting worsened to create more difficulty into it. Like you know, it maybe was a level two or level three encounter, but now because you ignored the problem for a long time, 
Hmm. Things have brooded into a very spooky situation. There are now ghosts all around the coast of Bloodyton. Yes, Bloodyton. Great name for a coast. The coast of Bloodyton, where everybody is sheepy look sheepy link sheepy looking like people. Yes, there are sheep people. That's why it's called Bloodyton because you know they are totally barbaric, and they are following a ghost called Blarman. Yes, Blaman, Blaman the ghost. Ooh, very spooky stuff. So yeah, you you get the point here. I'm just I'm not gonna be trying to do my very best upon making original ideas or using really good names. I'm just you know naming stuff to prove a point here. So yeah, because because you have been you know neglecting this side quest or something like that or this quest over there. Things are gonna get worse in there, and you know, eventually, you know, things are gonna get out of hand. And then, you know, it's up to you whether you want to ignore it or you want to make sure you deal with it. Because, you know, that's always a thing that you can do. You can always ignore the quest if you want to, but, you know, it will be very hurtful. <laughs> because, you know, normally, uh, when you. That's why you're not supposed to put that much action, or, well, that much effort into the. Uh, parts that you are coming up with because the players are either gonna be avoiding the question or gonna be the answer towards your question. So you need to give them multiple problems and then give them the main problem so that they can deal with it. So you give them multiple problems but actually you're trying to avert their problems into uh, averting, uh, averting the choice into one choice. Because, you know, you want, you have prepped this big giant dungeon of bloody bloody blue. And, you know, you want to, well, you know, you can get the party there. But, of course, they can do the side missions and then do the main mission afterwards. Yes, that's possible. Don't get upset about that. But, yeah, if you want to make sure that they go into the main mission, you need to make it more attractive. You need to make it attractive. You need to give them something. Like, I don't know, if they are, fo if they are really greedy or they want to really do something. And give them the thing that they wanted to do, and then force them, well, not force them, do you really want to do, you know what else would pay it a lot? You know, helping this person right here. This person named Mr. Moustache, yes. He had problems grooming his moustache because some evil devil devil spirit was sitting in his house and wrecked everything, so he lost his uh, shaving equipment. Yes, his shaving equipment to... Uh, make sure that his mustache is no longer evil. So, we'll go find the demon inside of his house and uh, don't grow a beard or something, I don't know. Because, you know, otherwise you will become a, a, a professional wrestler that uh, always wants to wrestle up people. Because that's a curse. Right now. Yeah, there you go. Easy, 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 easy knowing how to get from point A to point B without even thinking. This was the this was the worst effort I ever put into a thought. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, um I'm getting I'm getting a lot of uh, I'm getting I'm getting get a good feeling that you know the explosive chickens that I designed uh, for my uh, recording are going to be great and glorious. So I'll give you already a heads up what I what I actually did. So what I did was actually uh, it is a game that uh, gives you the idea of you know putting more more things into one, so you can put your own designs and your own creations, your own artwork into it, and then you can have a pretty damn good feel upon how everything works around it. So what I did with it, what it was, I created the design of the explosive chicken. So these explosive chickens, of course, explode. Whoa! Mind blown right there. So these explosive chickens explode. Yes. That is the idea. So what they do is they will walk towards the enemy and explode. Of course, you know, I needed to make sure that those uh, chickens have a special ability. So they, they need to look cool because I don't want to use regular chickens. Pfft. I want to use my own artwork for chickens. So I use my own artwork to create these explosive chickens. Of course I use the artwork that I'm not normally using. That is the artwork that I'm using if I'm silly, busy. So I'm using the Toonie version. So that's 
this, you know, woo, doo -doo. that's an explosive chicken right now with a, with a big giant lot. There you go, and then rockets, you know, like that. That that is an explosive chicken, right? That's what you're thinking when you see an explosive chicken. So think about that kind of artwork, but then a little bit more, uh, a little bit less wonky, more more fun, uh, in my eyes. I created the explosive chicken to, you know, d and I created the design to make sure that I that it looks good. Then, of course, I need to also make a design for the hero who is going to be summoning these explosive chickens. So that's going to be the chicken mancer, who is going to have a chance to summon explosive chickens. Duh. So it's either going to be an explosive chicken or, you know, a, a strong chicken, a muscly chicken. You know, you 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 get the point. It's going to be summoning different types of chickens, and different types of chickens always have different types of options with them, which is a real cool aspect. You know, you have different chickens that are gonna, uh, that will be summoned or going to be summoned, and those chickens can be like the ninja chicken, or or the psychic ghost chicken, or I don't know, the water chicken, the healing chicken, oh no, the priest chicken. There you go. So. You have these different chickens, and those different chickens are going to be used in combat in that game. Of course, you know, they need a design, and therefore I uh, I created the effect of, you know, creating the design for the chickens. Of course, I also need to design my own artwork for it, so I need to also design the artwork for the spell that's called Explosion. So, you know, you see, you see the chicken explode while, you know, he's breaking up with somebody. I don't know. Uh, that was actually quite funny. <laughs> ex explosion, yes. It's 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 a delayed bomb. <laughs> so he, he's getting ragey. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna be making some artwork, some uh, toony artwork with it, and uh, I'm hoping that you know once we're done with that, I can then finally you know make a whole damn. I can put then all these all these heroes inside of it, and then you know having the Having the whole gang be like totally different units, so that's the idea at least. So I want to make all of this happen. Oh, that's that's so much better. Oh, that's so much better. I like it. I like it a lot. Of course, I need to make sure that I have a little bit more Rudy Rudy effect to it, and I need to make sure that I have it a little bit less. And so I need to get this done, and then I need to grab this part right here, and then I need to gently do this. Alright, gently brushing the drawing part so that the uh so that it is not too tense. That's the idea. So we don't want we don't want to have two tens of a a drawing. But yeah, the uh, the, the amount of stuff I can do with that game is actually quite ridiculous, and I want to test out how funny it's gonna be if I'm using like, you know, Danso Magic, yes, something like that, you know, and then it it can summon Bony the Bone Man, you know, because he got laid while well, uh, being on the uh, on the ga uh, being on a prom date at the prom where he died because of a necromancer. I don't know, you see. Bone Man, Bone in the Bone Man, and he he uses the spell. He he also uses the spell Bone to pick with somebody. Oh, oh so many terrible jokes, but it, it is quite funny to do. All right, now we can look at this and see if this is what we want. Yes, this is what we wanted. This is definitely what we wanted, but now I need to make sure that I have everything under control. So now we need to add the uh, less light, pr uh, less light. So we need to actually put a shading layer on it, or we can uh, lower the amount of. Well, I don't want to lower it all. I don't want to lower it all. I actually need to add some uh, more. Co I need to add some more. Sometimes I need to add this, and sometimes I need to add that. The other one, so where is it? This one, right? Yes. Um, we need to add the uh, oh, yes, we need to add this one. All right, 
Mm, there it is. So we have the color that we need, which is going to be this one right here. And now we need to have the eraser, which is this one. Now we need to erase some parts that, you know, need to have some parts here like this. This part right here needs to have an erase. Uh, boop, 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 boop. There we go. So yeah, um, that's the thing that I'm going to be trying to do. I'm trying to implement some drawing art into it and then see how funny it's going to be looking. Of course, you know, it's going to be totally different compared to the other artwork that is normally mine. So it's not like this. It's not like this. It's not going to be detailed like this. It's going to be more groovy. Ah, I see. Why did it stand so out so much? Because of all the roots. Because of these parts right here. Now we can put this down. And now the tree is actually looking nice. Alright. So, um, do 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 do. I now need to add some more. Yes. This part right here is still a little bit messy. So now we need to get the parts that need to be that are messy. We need to add, add a remove. So right over here needs to be removed. But we need to do it on the we need to do it with the easy one. So that it is not that hard. Yeah, I drew too hard on it. Alright, and how much time did we already spend? 20 minutes. Oh damn, that's actually a lot. No, that's actually a little bit. That's not bad. Actually, just added some stuff here and then there. Do that. Come on. Don't hang on me up now. So, yeah, um, gonna be doing that and uh, I will show you some. Uh, I will show you some uh, at the end of the video. I will show you what I'm, what I have been busy with, and then you can see immediately what I mean, what the difference is between this artwork and the other one that I'm normally using when I'm really. Well, it's always the artwork that I'm using. It's the most simplistic artwork. It's actually the artwork that I use normally for my design on my profile picture. And I thought, like, well, technically it suits really well with the atmosphere that the game gives you. It's like. It's not supposed to be meant to be taken seriously at all costs. It is a very tactical game, yes, but it is not supposed to be taken seriously. It's all it's all jokes. There are only jokes in that game. And of course, I can also do even uh, voiceovers if I want to. That it makes it even more fun because technically you can make voiceovers like you know Batman and all that stuff if you really want to. You just need to work record some of the lines of Batman and you can just put a Batman in. <laughs> uh, never gets old. Never gets old. Alright. Is that enough? Is that enough to hold it? Um, no. Is it now enough? Yes. Yes, it is. How nice. How nice of them to have this problem solved with an ease. Hmm. 
Hmm. Let me see this one right here. It's a stupid one. Alright. And this is how you fix the problems that you left behind. You are using the fake erasers to create the effect that I'm supposed to, well, it creates the effect of, well, it creates the illusion of erasing. Which leaves still the lines behind, which is a real good thing to have in the first place. This part right here. All right, cool. Now it's better. All right. Ah, uh, no, not yet. Such a pain in the ass to do this one. All right, cool. Now it's done. Lovely. Now it looks good, and now we can actually have a take a look at this properly. Now, what the first thing I want to do is actually putting a second color in line, in, which is the this one. No, this one, right? Yes. I want to have a second coloring line, so that's gonna be over here, and I'm gonna be saving this because I know that this is gonna be a hard one to do. So, um, let's see. We're now halfway, so that should be fine. We're gonna put in the, uh, we're gonna put the part of. Uh, we need the color. We need is the darker one. So we need not this one, but we need the other color. Come on, give me, give me color that I need. That is this one right here. Oh, this is not on the same place. How lovely. Alright, we have now the color. That's good. Now we're gonna put everything back in there. And now we're gonna put it between... No... We can actually use this one instead. Use the light color and then add darker color to it. Alright. Let's see. That is the color that I need. No, a little bit more. There you go. That's far more darker. Alright. I'm supposed to use this one instead. Alright, now I can use this color to. Um, Ooh, uh, how do you do this? Um, but do, 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 we need to grab the transparent version of it because therefore I can use this to create a line and then create a line again and then create a line again. Yes. Alright. Now we can start. First things first, we need to grab this line over here and drop it again. Underneath. Right. Now what I can do is uh, let's see. Now I need this one over here. That's it's quite nice that I can do this like this.
Oh, nice. Very much. Now I can put this one. Uh, that place is not existing. I guess this one is also not existing then. Yep. And this one is not existing as well then. No, that one exists. So I need to add that in the later part. Alright, fine. I will. Keep forgetting that it, that is not existing. Alright, and then I need to grab this one right over here. Big chunkers of wood. So the idea here is that we're adding some uh, shaping to it. Of course this might not look like shaping right now, but uh, once we add the blending to it, it should be fine. Alright, and after this I will be calling it quits, because damn it, it's, it's hard to do this. And my hand is a little bit uh, painful. Because I did a lot of drawing today. <laughs> I can't help it, right? I can't help it. Because uh, drawing is my passion. So, yeah. It's my passion indeed. Alright, now what I can do is add the blend tool to it. So, we're gonna use the blend tool. Alright. This will create the effect I want. This will create the shading effect I want because it actually blends blends the drawing part into it. As you can see that it actually creates the effect I want. So that's good. And then we need to lower it down, no, lower it down a little bit. And now we're just going to be using the blend tool or whatever. Get the blend tool again a little bit better. So what I need is this part right over here. I need to be blending. Hmm. I need to switch to this one. I need to add some more color to it. I need this to be underneath it until here. Yes. Alright, and now I can put now I can put the blend tool in. It didn't matter what kind of tool I used that for. Alright.
and I need to switch back to a smaller size. And that's how you do it. <laughs> that's how you create some shaping, boys and girls. Woo! Shaping to the max. Well, it is indeed a big one. It's a big chungus boy. It's a big chungus boy of doom, but uh, it should be fine. It's not as... Uh, it is less complicated the more you do, but... It is a lot of things I have to do. Also, what the hell is going on here? No, I think I need to use an erase tool there for fixing this part up. Oh well. You yeah. know. Good I saw it now, so not at all. And we need to go. There we go. Fixing it all up. So this is the shading part. This is the shading part to create the tool of giving the um giving the giving everything life. So that's the idea. Alright, now we need to make sure that we do this very careful on erasing. So we're gonna be saving this and then everything is gonna be fun. Oh hey Blue! Nice to see you as well. Uh, full screen while well, you were in full screen. We are busy doing things. Alright, well thanks. Thanks uh, OBS. Thank for you for uh, telling me that I was in full screen. No shit, I was a full screen. I need to do with this in full screen. <clears throat> Come on. Alright, now I can go back into it. So, the more we actually work on this, the more better it's going to be looking. Of course, you know, it's already a really hard thing to draw. Trust me, this, this bad boy is a very pain in the ass to do. Not only is this thing a big boy, it is also a very woody one, and uh, you know, I'm not very good at drawing wood right now, because it is a thing that I'm, I have done in the past, but it took always so long to draw. Eh. It's just really hard. Anyway. So, uh, yeah, um, today I need to reset my PC. Um, just to make sure that I'm not gonna get cancelled out of my uh, streams uh, in one day, so uh, I think uh, tonight we're gonna be doing that. Oh well, I am gonna be doing it, not you. You don't need to. If you want to reset your PC, then well, fine, you can do that. But I'm, I need to restart it. So uh, I need to restart it, and then you know Windows is gonna have his grand new update, and I'm gonna be hitting two stones with one cup. That is also using the. Uh, I'm gonna be no wait. I need to do this carefully. I need to first need to make sure that I'm doing the update of Windows, and then I need to do the update of the of the tablet. Otherwise, uh, things might go bad. <laughs> but yeah, um, explosive birds, people. That's what I have been doing today. I have been drawing explosive birds. And don't get me wrong. If you ever wonder what an explosive bird looks like, well, take a look at a phoenix. There you go. It's an explosive bird. At least that is what I drew. I drew a phoenix. And I call it an explosive chicken. Because, you know, reasons. Because of my lazy, terrible writing of names. Giving it names. Like, the Hana Cutter. And, a Bone Man. And Banditos. And, uh, what was the other one? Uh, ah, yes. Angry Red Chicken of Doom. Yes. Very, very spooky names. If you didn't know what an ang a red angry chicken of doom is, it's an el it's an ancient dragon. There you go. That those are my quote quote unquote easy easy uh, tellings of uh, what the hell is going on when uh, when I uh, design the names of uh, of creatures. They're either gonna be called Larry, Jerry, Mary, Carrie, Jerry, Mary, Sari, whatever easy name picking I can come up with, or they're gonna be called you know. Boris Longfin, yes, because he had a big giant fin on his back. Or Mary Magic, yes, a woman who can call, who can cause divine magic. Or Sarah Sunflower, a person who is always optimistic, even in the bad of things. So yeah, that is uh, that is how you uh, that's how you go for uh, you know design. 
don't do the designing like that, but that's how I design uh, names. That's how I pick names. I'm just really, 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 um, like, hmm, this name is stupid. I love it. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, anyhow, let's take a look how long it is already. 24 minutes, and that means, like, then we only have... I will say once this is done I will show you the cool looking picture I made. Looks great and stuff. It's called an explosive chicken and I made it. I even did a recording on it already. But I need to make sure that I also have the recording of um, you know putting it into the game. And then you know uh I need to record a whole damn thing with it, so it's, I need to add edit my whole a recording so it's like two recordings in one and I need to edit it into one and because I don't have an editor which you know I'm too lazy to get or whatever I I'm like yeah I can do it myself fuck it even if the even if the even if the videos are probably gonna be looking bad well too bad for you I will say that I can do the editing and uh, well you know it's better for me to do just the editing myself after all you know one man army always wins because, you know, I really am devoted upon, you know, learning it myself. And I use the word, you know, too much. Damn it. Uh, always happens, you know, I'm trying to do my very best to make sure that I don't repeat myself in words. Also, I need to make sure that I also don't repeat myself in using the easy way out. The easy way out is, uh, what the hell is going on here? And that's a good question. I need to remove some of the. Oh, okay, I have been doing bit. I have been doing lazy work here. Jeez. As you can see, there are some lines that need to be uh, fixed, but uh, I will do that later. First, I will do the major, major improvements that need to be done. So yeah, um, this is a lot of work, and uh, the more I do this, the better I get at it, the better I get at it, the more fun I have with it, so it's all good, it's all good, it's all fun and games anyway. After all, I'm really enjoying myself doing this. So, uh, let's take a look at this, and you can see like, oh, what the hell just happened here, well... That just happened. As you can see, I drew a little bit too much over it, and I can do casually. Uh, no, I need to. I need to grab the merge tool again. Mm -hmm. There you go. Then I need to go over here. Do this part right here, and that is gonna be this, no, this one. And then I need to erase some stuff here, so I need to do the soft brush, otherwise I will get very bad at, otherwise I'm gonna get really bad and people here going and saying like, Oh my god, you're ruining it! And I'm like, yes, I know. That's why I'm fixing it. Alright, that's, that's more like it. Lovely. Alright, now as you can see, this is the drawing so far, and uh, I will leave it right here, but first I will show you my other drawing I have been working on for that thing what I have what I've said before. So as you can see the uh, the the drawing the roots itself look decent. You can also see like the shading here works well, but uh, I don't know if I need to put more shading right here, but the rest of the roots all look nice. Shading looks good, decent, not too aggressive, and uh, I think uh, n uh, Monday I will take a better look at it, so I ha will have a fresh look at it, so I can all uh, to see like, oh well, this place right here needs to be a little bit more shading. This place right here needs to be a little bit more shading. So I we'll have a fresh view upon it because you know that's what shading. You know, normally you cannot see everything. With shading itself, so that is for uh, me at least. 
Um. All right. Um. Now let's save this bad boy up, and then um, I will uh, load in the other thing that I have been working on. Come on. There you go. I'll pick this one because that's easier to load. That's like really quick load. Boom! There you go. An explosive bird right there. Boom! See it? You see directly what I mean. That's in fe that's a phoenix, yes, but that's for me an explosive bird. Uh, because, you know, it turns into ash and then rebirds. Anyway, uh, I hope you all liked it for today. And uh, thanks all for watching. And I hope I'll see you all next time. Until then, I wish you all a lovely day. And, uh, well, bye!